Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another lab session. In this lab, uh, we will practice whatever we learned on the last module, which is relational operators and logical operators. Uh, these two operators are very important operators as well for the next following subjects. Uh, we will use a lot. It's not very complicated, it's very simple. Uh, we just need to practice. And today we have very nice practices. Uh, hopefully when we do these practices, uh, you can understand all the operators perfectly. As you guys know, Junula and Asiye with us today to solve our lab tasks. Hi Junula. Hello Ozzy. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. Enjoying with the labs. <laughs> Hi Asiye. Hello everyone. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. I'm uh, very excited on this topic. Just, just like usual, the operator is not a problem. The logic is the problem for me a little yeah, bit. I know. <laughs> it's okay, we will be okay, okay, with the practices and just trust me, okay? We will do more tasks, and then, you know, the after certain classes, you're gonna feel like algorithm is nothing for you, okay? So, okay, let's start. Uh, I wanna do like very short, maybe like 10 seconds review about the uh, operators, and then we will get into uh, questions, all right? So again, we learn uh, relational operators and logical operators. Let's remember what, wa what were those uh, operators. As you guys see in the screen right now, again, we, we will work on this drawing. I think you guys like it. So we will keep going on the same uh, method. So as you guys see, we have a relational operators. Okay, greater sign, smaller sign, and then greater equal, smaller equal, equal to equal sign, basically. One of them is meaning assignment. We need to be careful. And not equal, all right? Again, please, please, please. Java syntax is a little bit heavy compared to other languages. We mentioned this one before. Uh, you might stress out a little bit. There are so many things you don't need to stress out. When we do practice more, I mean, you, gonna, you guys are gonna see, you're gonna know automatically in the future. You know, even though if you forget a couple of them in the beginning, do not stress out, all right? Always you can take a note. If you guys remember, Asiya was telling me in the early labs, she was just writing in a sticky note and then putting on the wall to remember. You guys can use that uh, method, right? So basically these are all our relation operators. And as you guys see, I put here a couple of examples. You guys learn those uh, operators with Muhtar as well. Uh, you guys can take a reference. Okay, for example, two greater than three, false. Here's the in most important thing you guys remember all the time. Relational operators, whenever you see these relational operators, greater, smaller, smaller, equal, greater, equal, these relational operators always take two variable and return a Boolean. Okay, basically it takes a two five and then return true or false. All right, so always return a boolean. All right, so what are the uh, other operators? Logical operators. Okay, our logical operators m percent, which is and, two m percent, which is a shortcut, short circuit, uh, and operator, and then pipe sign or operator, and then double pipe sign which is the short circuit or operator, okay? And then important thing with the logical operators is truth table, truth table, all right? Again, if you forget it, don't stress out. It might take some time for you to remember these are, but with the practice, you guys are gonna be okay. But for now, you can again like, take a note somewhere. You guys can always look as a reference, but we need to remember this truth tables for and operator and or operator, okay? So, and then what also we need to remember, as I mentioned, in relational operators, it takes two value, like two, three, and return boolean. Logical operator take, takes two relational operators and return a boolean, which is it takes true, true, and then it returns a boolean value, okay? Logical operators. So for this truth table, let's go over very quickly. I don't wanna spend so much time with this one, okay? Basically, with the AND operator, true, 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 false, result, false, false, true, false, 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 result, false. As you guys see, to able to make it true with the AND operator, both operation expression has to be true. For the OR operator, true, 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 false, results, true, false, true, results, true, false, false, false. And as you see here, all of them true, and if you want to make it false, both of them has to be false, okay? So if you remember this one, we're going to be okay implementing the logical operators, all right? I hope it is clear. You guys have any question, Junula and Asiya, on this point? 
No, it seems fine. Okay, Asia? We reviewed very well, thank you. Okay, perfect. I'm, I'm happy to hear that one. All right, so Jundula, let's do this task. Okay, I have one task, uh, relational operators. Then we're gonna go to IntelliJ and do the other tasks. Okay, let's go step by step, Jundula. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so let's do it. For example, what we have here, we have one integer b is equal to two. Basically, we have one variable b, and then has the value two. And then we have a result variable, which returning the Boolean, all right? And then there's a, some expression inside, all right? Right now, we're gonna go step by step doing this expression, and we're gonna try to find the result, okay? So plus plus b. What is plus plus b, Jumulayir? What should be the plus plus b value? So it should be three. Okay, why not two? Uh, because we have an uh, increment sign here and it's a pre-increment, so it's gonna increase b to three, then we can use it. Perfect, yes, since we did this one in earlier laps, right? If there's a pre-operator, pre pre-increment, the result, the updated uh, variable value is effective right away, right? So plus plus b is three. Let's keep writing, is equal, Basically, two equal sign to two, okay, or which is a two pipe sign, and then b. What is the b value here right now, Jundula? Since we increment increase it earlier, uh, it's gonna be again three here. Yes, in the memory, basically three, right? Okay, please put three is equal to two. If you want, you can put this one again in the parentheses. Parentheses is important if you guys remember because it gives some. Uh, you know, like priority, we need to do this portion first, right? Operator precedence. All right, then and operator, and then minus minus b. How about this value, Jumula? So again, we have uh, uh, some decreasing here, but this is this time it's again predecrement, right? So it was three earlier b, so right now it's gonna be two. Yes, let's put two. I'm gonna write it like this, two equal okay. equal two. Perfect, okay. Let's come right now, right now, the one level down. Okay, next line. And then let's start doing this one. Look right now, three is equal to two. Basically, there's a relational operator here. What was the rule? Relational operator takes two value and return a Boolean. Basically, we are checking here if three is equal to two. What is the result, Junula? So it's gonna be false here, okay. because three is not equal to two. And then let's put our OR operator. We're gonna come back to OR operator later. OR, three is equal to two. Is it true or false? Again, it's false. Okay, let's put false. Okay, and let's keep going. AND operator. Put it, AND. And then two is equal to two. Yes, uh, since it is correct, it's gonna be true. True, okay, now let's go down. And then let's do right now, false or false. Look, there's an or operator. If you go to again truth table, let's go to truth table, I will show. False or false, what is the result? So it's gonna be false. False, yes, based on our truth table, perfect. And then please keep typing false and true. And then let's right now do the last one, false and True. Let's go to R. True table. False and true. What is the result? False. Yes, so I need to write here false. Perfect. All right. So basically, system out print and then result is equal to result. What we will see as a result, Jundula? So since we found false, the result is going to be false here. Okay, let's type on the next to that one false. Okay, let me do it. Let me. Put it here. Put it okay. Here. How about B value? System out print and B. What is going to be the B? So B uh, was 2 at the end. So it's going to be 2 here too as well. Okay. Perfect. False and 2. Asya, what do you think? Perfect. Is it good, everything? Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay. If you guys want, let's uh, run this one right now in IntelliJ as well. And then let's see the output. You want to run in IntelliJ Jundula? Yeah, I can do it. So. Okay. Let me open the class operator practice. So let me run it and see. Mm -hmm. 
So I got the result right now. It says okay. false and also B is equal to 3. Okay, I see a problem here. So result, IntelliJ says result is equal to false. Okay, we see the result as a false as well in our drawing. And then IntelliJ says B is equal to 3, but we see in our drawing B is equal to 2. I think we have a problem. Hmm. Who is right? Us or IntelliJ? Definitely IntelliJ is right, but I don't know where we did the wrong. Definitely integer, right? Okay, no trust to me. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so, actually, this is very nice, tricky question, and I think this one is one of the you know the Java certification question. It's very nice question, all right, very nice question. So, where is the uh, error here? Right now, I got, I wanna uh, ask you guys something. Okay, Jundula, you ready for my question? Yeah, I'm ready. So here also I show right earlier, logical operators. We have one M percent and two M percent, and then one OR operator, basically pipes N, and then two pipes N. What are the differences between single pipeline and double pipeline? Or what is the difference between the one M percent and two M percent? So uh, if I'm not wrong, for the OR, if we have two OR sign, uh, if the first one is true, the first uh, condition is true, it's not going to check the second condition at all because the result is going to be true anyway. And something similar happens in the end sign as well. So if we have two end sign and if the first condition is false, it's not going to check the second condition again because the result is going to be false anyway. So the compiler is not going to read it at all. Yes, it's perfect actually. And as you see right now in the truth table, for example, for AND operator, right? If the first definition is false, okay? Doesn't matter if the second expression is true or false, it's gonna result false. So you know basically what Java people did it? Java people says, if the first expression is false and we know the result is gonna be false, why we need to check the second expression as well? It's a little bit maybe like some performance situation, right? So they created this, double operators as a well, short circuit operators. So they say basically, if it is false, you don't need to even look at the next of expression. But then this exp explanation right now, whatever we explain, how is reflecting to our question, Jundula? Please pay attention to right now, to and operator. Yeah, so since uh, the part that we have before the end is gonna be false, then it's not gonna check the second part at all, right? Yes. So which means it's not gonna read that minus minus b at all. So it's not gonna decrease the b. Yes, it's correct. As you guys see here, the first expression, which is the plus plus b is equal to two, or b is equal to two. It since it is returning false, okay, this false, the second expression needs doesn't need to be checked because the result is gonna be false. That's why, after this n percent minus minus b is equal to 2 is not going to be evaluated by Java because it knows already the result is false. So Junula, let's remove right now that portion and let's try to figure out the b again. Okay, so let me do it. So since it's not going to check the right side at all, I'm just going to remove it completely uh, from all the lines. And the result again is going to be false, like this. Yes, so how about b value then? Let's check the what is b value. Since minus minus b not working anymore, what is the b value? So it's not going to be increased by 1, so it's going to be again 3. Yes, it's going to be 3, which our IntelliJ say to us, right? To be 3 of the b value. Okay, this was a very nice example and explains the you know, like the difference between the short circuit and regular uh, logical operator. I hope you guys understood this one. Any question related with this? No. Okay, perfect. All right, so thanks so much. Uh, this was a nice test. I think uh, we will uh, solve the other test in different video. All right, so see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.